Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into some hot topics. Let's go. Child, so I got this from Academics page, right? Bia has gone to the studio and she has made a uh diss track to Cardi. I listened to it. And I'm going to ask Bia to keep doing whatever she was doing before she made this diss track. Because, I mean, she's in the studio. She made some music. This not this is not it, ma'am. This is not it. I think you need to just stop while you're ahead. I don't know how you feel about it, but I, I think Bia has really stepped in it. Ma'am, you are way out of your lane. Just, just leave Cardi alone. Let's keep going. I have to do the review for the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but baby... The reunion is definitely canceled. Bravo confirmed it. What in the world happened? Then we got this. Two Real Housewives New Jersey stars have been asked to leave the show. Now, this is alleged. This is coming from Bravo Housewives. I don't know how true that is, but just like the reunion, we have confirmation. Maybe we'll get confirmation about this soon. What are they doing over there? Because I got to go watch this episode. Honey, baby girl, look at Chris Samuels. Chris got the Bentley out. Won't he do it? Chris looking great, single, happy. Ooh, child. It's, you see all these likes over here? I, I, it ain't no telling how many he got right now. But Chris does look great, right? I think Monique looks great. I think she's happy. I really do think she's happy. I think Chris may realize that he was in a relationship where he was not getting the love that he thought he was giving out. So, I mean, Chris looks great. He's out here bentling it up. I love it. What y'all think about this? Child, you know, um, Megan Thee Stallion had a little problem. The water system was messed up in Atlanta and she had to reschedule her concert for the next day. And she got on the line and she was like, Candy, housewives, can I come to the Chateau? Well, Sheree had made a little post and said, girl, you are welcome over here at the Chateau. Y'all look at Sheree. Like if you didn't know, you would know. Sheree said, yeah, girl, come on over here to the Chateau. <laughs> Y'all remember Corey Wright in Ann Arbor, Michigan? Pulled up to their Zoom in the car with the uh, license expired, suspended. Well, allegedly, he's innocent. In 2022, they were supposed to reinstate his license. But the paperwork never made it to where it needed to. And he really does have license. So, that's allegedly. I haven't seen the paperwork or anything like that. But that's what the word on the curb is. I hope that's true. So, I hope that that's situation straight and when he said he was on his way to the doctor's office i think it was said that he was taking his wife to an appointment so i hope they got that worked out because that was crazy child sweet t is on the green screen set she looks great i think she's been looking really good and they're filming and i'm excited to see what she's going to do this season and i'm so glad that she's back so we'll be checking in with her i'll be checking in with her soon so we can talk to sweet t again hopefully let's keep going Chamia said, the level of joy to see my children's fathers laughing and fellowshipping is truly priceless. My children's fathers? Okay, Mia. Child. Incognito out here and G out here. And they just, well, look. Look what they're doing, child. Just jumping in the pool as a family. I mean, Mia is making it work. Don't ever give up. <laughs> I am devastated this year that I will not make it to the Star Study Juneteenth celebration. I'm not gonna be able to get I don't I don't see how I don't think I can I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. But let's see who's gonna be in attendance. Now this is not it. This is not all the people. This is just not all the people that's gonna be there. It's gonna be a multitude of people, right? But Patty LaBelle, Gladys Knight, Charlie Wilson, no. Kirk Franklin, Anthony Hamilton, Brittany Spencer, Trombone Shorty, Raheem Devon, Dougie Fresh, Bettina Miller, and Roy Wood Jr. Oh my God. These ladies look fantastic. It, I, on my own, I would love to hear Patty sing that. Oh my God, they look so good. But I know it's going to be a great celebration. And I look forward to seeing the pictures. So maybe next year. Let's keep going. 
Let's keep U.S. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee in our prayer. She has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh, she is definitely a voice for us in Congress. She works really hard. So I just pray that she is doing well now and then she gets on the other side of this. So just keep her in your prayers. I am so here for this. July the 3rd on Netflix. Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F. I am here for this. I love Beverly Hills Cop. I don't know how you feel about it, but I think that's one of my top two hit. Ooh, yeah. Harlem Nights and Beverly Hills Cop. Those are my two favorite movies. And then Trading Places is next. But I'm here for this. I can't wait to see that. So TMZ is reporting that it kind of looks like it didn't go so good with the Rick Ross car and bike show, right? It was blasted online. Users cite long lines and capacity issues. The people were um, online blasting the event and demanding refunds. It's his annual car show. It was in Fayetteville, Georgia. Um, it seems like it went off without a hitch. Lots of people smiling, hugging, and laughing with the biggest names in hip-hop. Because I think I saw Boosie where he said he was going to perform. But then the fans on social media were saying a different type of story, right? They said the car show totally ran them over. So it said on his comments, people are slamming the rapper's events for numerous reasons, including lack of shuttles, insane wait times to get in, and claims that they even ran out of wristbands, even though people had paid for them. So that is what it is. You got to get there early or not at all. So we're right here with Puffy. I think Kanye might be on the way up, right? This is his ex-assistant. This is Lauren Piscotti. Doesn't she look like him a little bit? She said that he would pleasure himself on the phone and he was obsessed with the member size of her boyfriends. She said that um, she is a OnlyFans model. And when Kanye met her, they were working together on the fashion line in July of 2021. And she also worked with him on the Dunder album. Shortly after that, he wanted her to get rid of her OnlyFans. And he said he would pay her a million dollars a year in exchange for getting rid of it. She said, okay, you're going to have to go over to the neighborhood and talk to get the rest of that. Because, baby, when I tell you all the stuff that she said that Kanye was doing, I couldn't even put that on my page. But right here, she said that he would be doing things to himself and ask her, what does she think he's doing? And he was sent her text, allegedly having bang bang with models. Um, after the harassment, she promoted, I'm sorry, he promoted Lauren to chief of staff and gave her a $4 million salary. In October 22, he let her go and promised her the $3 million. Now, Kanye, if we've learned anything from Puffy, if you told these women you were going to pay them, you should have paid them. Now she's hitting him for wrongful termination, SH breach of contract, and a hostile work environment. So we just going to see how this is going to go. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to you later. Bye.